Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. Now, the observant ones amongst you will remember that mound because it featured in my previous vlog. That is called the Tongue. And I've returned back to where I started before, back in the northern fells of part, a wonderful little village called Mungris Dale. The last time I climbed onto Borscale Fell, but this time, however, I'm going to venture slightly south. I'm going to head towards Bannerdale Crags, and if you remember, I featured a image which I'm very pleased of, um, with the light just kissing the top of the fell lines. Now, there's another mountain which heavily featured in my previous vlog, and it's quite a famous mountain here in the Lake District, and that is Blincathra. Now, the fell walkers amongst you will quickly think of the eastern erect called Sharp Edge. I'm not going to head up there today. Um, there's a bit of rain in the air, you know. That's my excuse anyway. I really don't fancy it, if I'm honest. So, I am however going to get close up to the um, edge of Sharp Edge and see what images we can get from there. The weather is looking rather good actually. Intermittent rain, there's lots of moodage going on in the clouds. So I'm looking forward to today again. Rainbow, that's beautiful. Let me just show you that. If you can. The sun is out as well. I can't moan, but I'll try to shield myself. I'll become too overexposed. There's a crazy shepherd behind me herding these sheep. It's quite, quite exciting actually. It's quite interesting. Um, anyway. The reason I've stopped here, I just want to show you that ridge there. That takes you up to Bannerdale Crags, which is my first destination. And that ridge featured in that shot which I mentioned earlier, the lovely moody black and white shot, uh, just playing around with the ships and the light. Now, there is a lot of look which plays a big part in landscape photography, but there's also... Um, Predicting the light is also important um, and getting used to how the light falls and travels along the land and I've especially gained that experience since I started fell walking. Um, that shot was basically a matter of planting the telephoto on a tripod after composing the shot. The shot's got some nice balance, nice diagonals, uh, nice depth to it so that's what first attracted me to this scene and then I knew the light was darting across from over my right shoulder and it's just a question of waiting and snapping at the right time. I took multiple exposures just to try to get the optimum image but yeah the farmer's still shouting away. Right okay so the light is very nice indeed. So that is my view currently looking down Bannerdale Valley. You are facing the rain and wind by the way. So I've got my cough and uh, it's all adds to the, uh, to the authenticity I suppose. I'm not quite at Bannerdale uh, but I'm walking along the ridge. There is some nice light going at the moment but the problem is that quite a vicious northerly wind and it's bringing with it some quite wet rain. Rain is usually wet but you know what I mean that stuff it really drenches you. Um, what lies behind me is Blencatha but you can't see that because the summit currently sits well below the cloud line. It's nicely, I say it's nicely, nicely shrouded with a bit of cloud. Uh, the reason I say nicely is because often it does lead to a bit of eeriness in the images. So I'm going to head up to Bannerdale now uh, and then we'll see what we can find. I do love it though. Thank you. 
wind and the rain, it, it comes and goes very quickly indeed, very intermittent. But I'll tell you what, it's bringing some lovely mood uh, and detail to the cloud. Look at that behind me. Now, landscape photography, I talked about luck and predicting the weather. It's all about spontaneity as well. I quickly grabbed this shot because the, there was a break in the clouds, some nice light uh, going on in the background there. So I wanted some foreground interest and to be honest, you're pretty limited here. But what there is in abundance of is these little tufts of grass which create some lovely contrast. Uh, so that's what I've fired away. Wide angle 16 to 35 millimeter uh, set up tripod f14 focus on the tufts and grass then that leads you on to the nice mood beyond Blinkathra is to my right and yeah it's shrouded in a veil of low-lying cloud this moment in time but it's windy so it might come and go i doubt it very much but i'm going to make my way up there and see what else we can find My first glimpse of Sharp Edge, the famously notorious arete of Glencathra. This is a grade one scramble and needs to be respected, especially on days like this. It is prone to accidents and sadly a number of fatalities in the past. To be honest, my plan to bag Glencathra had never included the ascent of the ridge and I was glad to be tackling it with the route I had chosen. I still wanted to capture the drama and danger and with my telephoto I managed to zoom up close to pick out the various climbers bravely facing the challenge. For me, a black and white option showing the figures and silhouettes was the right choice. Top of sharp edge looking down into what seemed like an abyss. I instantly fell in love with the place as I climbed to the summit. Visibility poor but still very welcoming, with so many fellow fell walkers around. This is definitely a mountain I will return to, possibly tackling the summit via Holes Fell Ridge, which although it's still a challenging ridge walk, an easier option than its famous brother. I felt good that I'd ticked off one of the Lakeland's famous mountains and the clag strangely gave me a warm, reassuring feeling. I still had another fell to tick off for the day as I left the clouds of Blencathra behind. So that is Blencathra caught in some low level cloud visibility up there i don't know about down to 50 meters so no views not that i'm that disappointed really because i really enjoy myself really have enjoyed this hike and, and i don't know why now i don't know if you've witnessed this but i felt a, a moment up there where a sense of well-being where everything's all right in the world. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't have a hard life or anything like that, but I just get that warm connection. It's quite a popular fell. There's quite a lot of people uh, up there, so got some connection. Everyone's got uh, something common. 
some sort of community. I don't know, really, really good. In terms of photography today, yeah, it's been very limited, obviously, due to the uh, weather, etc. But uh, I'm going to head back now. Now, there was one more fell I had to bag. Ooh. Steady. Are we all right? Focus. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I was about to say, one more fell I had to bag to tick off the list of Wainwrights. And it's quite famous, actually, for being one of the dullest fells on the list of Wainwrights, and that is Mungrisdale. Um, but do you know what? I don't mind it. Yeah, all right, the, the cairn isn't the most interesting thing, but cairns don't really interest me anywhere, to be honest. It's just a, a point of reference of matter. Tap my walking poles on. Anyway, the the views are yeah, quite nice, quite nice, good tally photo, nothing really standing out. I'm not gonna stay around there. I'm gonna head back now and uh, see what else I can find, if anything at all. But you know what? I've really have enjoyed myself. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. So before I head back down Bannerdale and uh, back to my car, I just thought I'd have one more look at Blincathra, looking south from where I am. Now, foreground interest, as I said before, is very limited, but I stumbled across, stumbled across, luckily enough, these lovely shaped rocks, which I'm going to use as a, um, a bit of a, a leading line. It's, it creates a diagonal. Bottom part of the image leads you on a diagonal to the right hand side but then the natural curves of the ridge line which take you up to the top of the summit of Blancatha kicks you back in. I'm waiting for a bit of nice light actually I'm not really owning much hope to be honest but you never know. I'm going to take the shot anyway and see what we can get from it. Um, yeah Really enjoyable day, really have enjoyed it. So I'm going to leave you for now. So until next time, remember, I'm on Instagram at uh, James underscore R underscore Burns and also follow me on Twitter at James R Burns 2. Can you see me? Right, take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. Bye bye for now.